Defensively, Louisville normally a man-to-man -man ball club, Jim Master. They're man-to-man, -man and they do a lot of switching because they have interchangeable athletes. They'll do a lot of switching inside. doesn't matter who guards who. Sean Woods. Kentucky cannot get the rebound. They've got to go for it hard this afternoon. Keith Williams, number three, for the Louisville Cardinals against Middle. In the Spencer, the big man. Out of bounds, Kentucky will get it back. You'll see Kentucky clamp down inside. Louisville will try to go inside. Kentucky will clamp down, make them kick it back out. That time they did. Louisville tried to force it inside. Kentucky gets a turnover. Kentucky coming right back. Jerry Miller. Miller against Herbert Sullivan. This is Reggie Hanson against Spencer. Rebound comes off to Louisville. There's control of the boards. And two missed Kentucky shots. We're still looking for our first points. And Kentucky's gets the rebound. Derek Miller. We played 50 seconds of the first half. Feldhaus getting in and draws the foul. Spencer is guilty of a foul. First foul of the basketball game. Offensively, Kentucky wants to spread the floor. Here they do and get a mismatch. Feldon Spencer, who's not really quick and doesn't have a quick feet. Feldhaus is going to drive around him, and so will Reggie Hanson. We saw Hanson do it earlier. That's the mismatch Kentucky wants. Quickness on the outside. We play 58 seconds, and Felton Spencer, the seven-foot senior out of Louisville, draws the foul. I expect, Jimmy, today Kentucky will try to take him on by bringing him out and going in one-on-one -on -one against him. And Hanson is the guy that Spencer's going to guard most of the time. Reggie's going to come out to the top of key a lot. They're going to let Reggie go one-on-one -on -one against him, try to drive around him. Now, well, Feldhaus is now 31 out of 42 from the free throw line of the year. And when Hanson comes out, they're not necessarily going to take the three-point shot. Reggie's going to drive around just like Feldhaus did. It's 2-0. The Wildcats go out on top of the Cardinals. Kentucky will come with the press. This is Kentucky's bread and butter press. They want to try to rattle Louisville early. They think they can because Louisville doesn't have great ball handlers and great passes. Keith Williams will handle it against Miller. Prescott says he didn't go over and back. Louisville trying to tie it up and missing it as Kendall misses it. Richie Farmer in the game. Richie had a big night the other night against North Carolina. He had an alley oop last night against Pelfrey in the practice. He said he wanted everybody to know about it. This is Hanson. Steal by Louisville. 2 0 Kentucky. Louisville with the ball. Keith Williams. And the paint draws the foul. Fouls on John Pelfrey, his first foul. The first foul on Kentucky. Richie Farmer goes back out of the ball game. Williams is an excellent ball handler. He takes it inside. John reaches in. It was, a, it was definitely a foul, but Kentucky will clamp in when it goes inside. Kentucky on the steal. Playing well defensively. Miller for three from about for sale. Feldhaus. Jump ball will go to Louisville. Jim, Kentucky cannot win today against Louisville if Miller continues to fire them out beyond NBA range. Yeah, that was a bad shot. Derrick took a bad shot, but John or uh, Darren gets it underneath. That's what you want to do. At least challenge the big fella. But when you're seven foot tall, you don't have to jump too high to block shots. It's been a lack of discretion at times this year by Derrick Miller, who is Kentucky's leading scorer. He took better shots over in Louisville and shot 50%. He, there was an article in the paper today that he didn't like referee's rims, but really, he just needs to take better shots. Louisville has only taken two shots. They missed both of those. They just tie it up. That's Slip Bradford Smith out of Bay City, Texas. Now they get it too. Kentucky's 0 for 4 from the field. Look at them go at him defensively. Jump ball. This time it'll go to Kentucky. John Pelfrey out of Paintsville, Kentucky. Played well this year, Jim Master. He's their most consistent player, and John gives you that 110% effort all the time. All Kentucky guys will have to do that to get these rebounds. Kentucky has four, Louisville three. Kentucky knocking it away, and Louisville getting a chance to put it back. They beat the press with ease. Everett Sullivan. It'll be Louisville's ball. Pete, 
Teams can do that to Kentucky. They'll throw the basketball over Kentucky's press. Louisville will try to do that. Kentucky doesn't mind that too much if they don't get too many run out baskets. Turnovers are dead even and walking. Make it three to two. Louisville now has one more than the Wildcats. And there's Tony Kimbrough, who's really had an off year. Denny Crum said yesterday, for them to be a championship team, he's got to come to play. He's been a little bit overweight. He's lost about seven or eight pounds. Just hasn't been that aggressive this year. 17.38 to go. First half of play, Rupp Arena. The Cardinals and the Cats. See how Kentucky spreads the court out and watch for slashing cuts to the basket. Hanson goes in. People go inside the lane and then back out. Derek Miller, John Woods. Great block for the leading block. Shot blocker of all time in Wood, Golden Spencer. A foul will be on Miller. Oh. Number one. Tough call. I thought that was a very good Dallas block. Good defensive pressure. We'll get another look at it. Sullivan, a great half court. A full court player goes up. Derek right on him. Looks like he had all ball that time. You'll shoot two. There's Jenny Crum. At the line, Eric Sullivan. Sullivan came into the game hitting 8 out of 10 this year. That's only his 11th free throw of the season. And Louisville has their first lead. Sullivan along with Jerome Harmon are their best all-around players and scorers, but he's been inconsistent this year. He had 35 in the first game, then cons uh, consisted to go 0 for 15 after that game. Kentucky's 0 for 6 from the field. This has not been a good shooting Kentucky team. One of the reasons being they take so many three-pointers. But in the last ball game against Carolina, they had a uh, good shooting night. We've had a little fisticuffs break loose. Starting out with uh, Smith, with Bradford Smith and Derek Miller. With a little shoving match off camera. Then it is developed into what you see now. But it was Darren Feldhouse that got in there, and that's a guy that Kentucky would probably want in a fight. And, of course, you see Rock Oliver out there now, and I wouldn't want to tangle with him, but you really don't need this. Both teams have a lot of class. We don't need this out on the basketball court. Let's see if we can pick it up. There it is. There's Miller getting pushed by LaBradford Smith. In a, in a big game like this, tempers can flare. You get excited. Uh, some nervous energy can be released, and I think that's all that was. But everybody needs a gain of composure. Referees are going to call a little time out here and, and get together and that's exactly what they do they call a timeout to try to settle them down 1705 to go first half of play the officials start together and here comes Louisville back out of the huddle and they say no no hang on we're gonna take the time out well they haven't called a foul right now that we know of uh, I think they just got everybody out and we'll be back in just a minute after Ali Prescott and the group confer on the University of Kentucky Television Basketball Network. They're still conferring as you see them there, and the Wildcats are whipping a Cardinal, but not on the scoreboard. Rick Pitino. And now the officials are still still talking. The officials for the ball game are John Clockerty. He's on your left. Ali Prescott with his back to you. And the other gentleman is Andre Patillo. They're all Southeastern Conference officials. And now they still are not ready for them to go as Andre Patello waves them back. John Clockerty is going to call the coaches up to midcourt and talk to them. Well, these are two class guys. They know what to do, and they're probably just telling them to settle your teams down. Everybody a little bit excited in here, going up and down the court, and really the shooting percentage to show it. Kentucky's missed a few easy shots, and kids are just a little bit anxious and getting that nervous energy out of them. John Clockety taking his time to explain to those two gentlemen. John has called, I believe it is four NCAA Final Four games. He is, without a doubt, one of the finest officials in America. Guys very seldom have a complaint with the actions of John Clockety. We saw during that uh, little scuffle we had Kentucky's bench cleared and Crumb's players usually stay on the bench. He always tells them never to get excited, stay on that basketball bench. And, you know, Brown usually can cause problems with getting a lot of players out there. All right, now they bring Reggie Hansen out. And I still don't understand because we're on the opposite side of the floor from the official score. We might have a dual technical foul. Both of them like Hansen to shoot. 
Reggie Hansen. Hansen makes it four to three. Reggie's first two. Reggie's now 26 of 36 from the free throw line. And now Louisville will have a chance to do the same thing on the other end. So it was double technical fouls on the benches. I, I think that's smart. Both teams get a little taste of, of getting a technical, and I think that'll settle both of them down. This is the Bradford Smith taking him. That's Jerry Jones, the red coach. Well, Louisville remains on top now at five to four. Now, whose ball is it going to be on the jump? I think it belongs to Louisville in the exchange of possessions. So it should be Louisville's basketball. Well, nobody was ejected from the game. The lineups remain the same. Feldhaus, Pelfrey, Hanson, Woods, and Miller for Louisville. Sullivan, Kimbrough, Spencer, Williams, and Smith. I think this exchange helps Kentucky. I think it keeps the crowd in it. The players get fired up. They feel like they're in a war now. They're out there aggressive. They want to prove to the people and to their coach Patino that they're out here ready to play aggressive basketball. Wait a minute. will be reentered on the ultimate possession rule. There are the officials. Cloggett, Prescott, Andre Patillo. The official score was a PA announcer was making some announcement having to do with uh, Sean Woods and uh, LeBrantford Smith. They were charged with the technicals. Each player got a technical. And Patino says he wants the ball because Kentucky had it before the foul. LeBrantford shoved first. Uh, he's a big guy. And then Solon gets in there. And then they really started going at it. And that's when some of the benches cleared. Five to four. Well, we're back to action now. It wasn't that serious after all. Louisville with the basketball. Everett Sullivan. The Bradford Smith. Kentucky has come with a zone. They come with a two-three, and that's what they played against Carolina. They think it can be effective. They'd rather Louisville shoot from the outside, obviously, than try to beat him inside with the big horses. 16:45 to go. First half of play. We've had nearly everything except good shooting. Kentucky from the field is 0 for 6. Louisville 1 of 3. That's a 5 for 3. three and Louisville gets his fourth nice point on Everett Sullivan, their leading scorer. And he's their best outside shooter as well. Louisville only attempts 10 uh, three pointers per game, so much less than Kentucky does. That's the biggest lead for either ball club. Louisville has it at 4. Another thing you'll see in Kentucky's offense today is they will not uh, shoot a lot of three po pointers because Louisville has great athletes. They come out and they'll pick you up and belly up against you. Hanson tried one. Rebound belongs to Louisville. But the fourth rebound for Louisville, they're even up now. Kentucky 0 for 7 from the field. Dalton Spencer posting up low. Bellhouse getting the rebound. Kentucky still looking for his first field goal. And we played over four minutes of the first half. They still look for it. Feldhaus. Very physical as they go for three more. Everett Sullivan now has seven points. Louisville goes ahead by seven after that controversy at midcourt. They're going to have to go to Brasso and try to get somebody into the ball game and fire the ball up. Hanson. Reggie Hanson. He's pushed by Spencer, his second. Bringing him out on the floor, I think, is a smart offensive move for Kentucky. Well, it Spencer certainly is. It gets him away from the basket. He's a seven-footer. We see Jerome Harmon come in, a tremendous athlete. But you get him away from the basket, and you can drive around him. Obviously, Reggie Hanson has quicker feet, Darren Feldhouse as well. But you see Kentucky's whole offense spreading it out, trying to run slashing cuts inside, and trying to drive past their men with good ball fakes. Kentucky will get the ball and die. Reggie Hanson. Kentucky needs a field goal in the worst way. All of their points have been from the free throw line. Sean Woods. Hanson. They finally get it. 1509. So Kentucky played a long time. Go one of ten from the field. Louisville coming right back. Sullivan. Look at him leap. Great leapers. The Cardinal. Williams. Keith Williams for his two, and it's back to a seven-point Louisville lead. 
Denny Crumbs really liked the way Williams has taken charge of his team. He's a good passer, good ball handler. He's probably a little bit too selfish sometimes. He needs to get other people open. Action for three. Fourteen and a half to go, first half. The Bradford Smith. He runs the club against Miller. Back up. Kentucky will have the rebound. Bad pass, but Miller saves it. And he will, did he juggle it? No. He said he didn't move. This is Grasso. Feldhouse on the follow. They can't put it in there. Feldhouse gets it with Grasso foul. Or was he fouled? I think Grasso was fouled. Well, they're getting in there, getting the rebounds, everybody being aggressive. Darren gets the basketball, goes up strong. But when you have great leapers inside, it throws your concentration off. And it looks to me like Kentucky's having that problem. And they indeed are at this point. 14-0, to four from the field. Louisville is four out of ten. Neither team burning the nets by any means. Kentucky rebounding well today. They have ten rebounds compared to uh, Louisville's eight. And Darren Feldhouse doing a good job with four. But I really think the score could be more out of hand than it is now. Kentucky hanging in there. They just need to have some good plays defensively. Louisville working it in the middle. That's Jerome Herman. Jerome Herman missed Yearville's opening game against Chaminade due to a back ailment, but he's back now in full strength. Kentucky missing another, and Henson tapping it no go. 15 to 6, Louisville. Make it another. Two more. That's LeBradford Smith getting five, and Louisville's on top by 11. This is what I was scared of. If Louisville gets out to a 10, 12-point lead like they are now, I felt like they could really run away with it because they'll belly up to Kentucky. It's hard for Kentucky to get the three-pointers off. Denny Crum worried about his team's 12-day layoffs, and he never had a team be off this many days, high school or college. So Kentucky finally breaks it with Brasso. Brasso getting it. 17 to 8, Louisville. But his ball club is reacting very well to the layoff, Jeff. Yes, they are. The back throws their way right there, but they, they're so powerful inside. Sean Woods getting it. No harm, no foul. They're letting him play. Miller for three. Shooting on the move rather than getting set. Louisville gets another rebound. The only way Kentucky will get the three-pointer today is through transition. That time, I didn't think it was all that bad. Derrick was in transition. He got his shot off. But again, it's tough when you got uh, good athletes out there like Louisville because they belly up to you and get their arms up and they can jump. Jerome Holden. That's a two-pointer. Harmon. Harmon gets his fourth point, 19-8. Well, he's a superstar. He's the one people have been waiting on for two years at Louisville. He'll get upstairs and stand up and really play the game of basketball. Foul on Louisville. It's going to be on Everett Sullivan. Louisville's in the middle of a 15 to 4 run. Sean needs to make good decisions trying to drive around here, using his body well. Ball handling skills are great. He needs to do that because when he gets down court, he has to look up, keep his head up, and try to hit the open man. Richie Farmer to the game for Rick Pitino. That was the third team foul against Louisville. Kentucky has committed two. Or two on Spencer, one on Sullivan. Farmer to Hanson. And we've got a foul on Pelper. An illegal pick. John Pelper now picked up his second foul. The third on Kentucky. Pelper, his second game for well, he was, he was Kentucky, trying to spring Hanson. John. There you go. He Here did. He leaned into him. He's moving his feet. You have to stay stationary. You have to stay in place and make the defensive man go around you. That time John moved that first foul. That really should have been four team fouls. We failed to mark one down for Brasso. Louisville getting it inside 12 minutes, and there's the score. The Bradford Smith alley -oop. Right through the arms, and Kentucky gets it back after Louisville's fourth turnover. That's usually Louisville at its best in the open court, but they've kind of got nervous fingers right now. Can't seem to grab onto the basketball. Jerry Miller and Hanson. They brought Sullivan out to guard Hanson. Richie for three. Richie Farmer has hit 16 of 38 from out there this year. Kentucky back to within eight. They're going to have to hit some three-pointers to get back in this game against Louisville in the first half. They've got to pick up the press defensively. Remember, they fell behind North Carolina 28 in the first half. Foul is on Farmer. 
there are a lot of tempers flaring out there today, and I don't understand why. Well, Richie fouled off of Harvin. That's part of the game. Richie outmatched inside. Holden's uh, can get upstairs. He's going to try to jump up here. Richie had no choice. Watch him. Make, make the foul good. Don't let him get the two points. Good job by Richie Farmer. Five team fouls on Kentucky. Cornelius Holden. Holden is at the line. He'll shoot two. He has two tries coming to him. He's 38 out of 52 from the free throw line this year. Louisville is three out of five from the charity strike. Kentucky four of four. There's a Cardinal fan for you. Nineteen to eleven. Eleven oh three to go. First half. Held house. Darren. Fourth point. Kentucky's down by six. A good look inside. Darren wide open. A good pass. They got it inside. Darren goes strong to the hole. Kentucky's had six layups. That is only the second one they have made. Kentucky in the two three. Feldhunt standing at the right place. Wrong time for Louisville. Kentucky can get right back in it after the fifth turnover. Farmer into Brasso. Brasso may have been what they needed along with Farmer. They have now come from 11 down to four down. to go first half the Cardinals led by 11 they now lead by four eight points they're down by four 1915 945 to go first half this has been a Kentucky game a Kentucky team of swings this year their hustle has been tremendous they have 13 rebounds compared to Louisville's 10 no one would have thought that before the game started Richie Farmer against Sullivan we have a foul on Reggie Hansen, I believe. That was on Feldhaus. His first, 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 first. Nine minutes and a half to go. Kentucky coming back with the pressure as Jerome Herman got it in. They beat it with no problem. Sullivan taking it right down to the hoop, and now Hansen fouls him. Well, there was nobody left there to get him, Jim, and he, Reggie just came up and popped him, so that is 17 fouls against Kentucky. We're at the line for two anyway. Well, we've talked about Louisville phoning it over the top. I believe Kentucky's pressure has bothered them a little bit, but that time they just threw it over the top, got it down court, and when Louisville gets it down court, they will take it to the basket, especially this young man, Eric Sullivan. Eric Sullivan out of Simpsonville, South Carolina. He's now missed three in a row from the free throw line. Louisville's trying to break a real dry streak. And he does it with his eighth point. Louisville back by five. Kimbrough and Farmer. Well, Richie plays so much better with that weight off of him. Confidence seems to be coming back with him. He faded a bit last year when he played very little. He is a battler. The fouls on Louisville is on Williams. That is just the fourth team foul against Louisville. Foul is on Williams, his first. Richie's toughness, watch him spread out, trying to look for somebody, bounces it off the leg, but very tough kid and has been real excited, Ralph, lately about his jumping ability. He's got a lot of ability. Coach Patino's challenged him lately. Hey, to show more of it. Farmer against Williams. Feldhouse, low post, hits it. Low high, low post offense by the Wildcats. Louisville runs that. 
Little high, low action. Dip it down underneath. Reggie did a good job of pinning his man and went up for the dunk. Look at Patino out of the coaching box and spurring his team on. Miller. Feldhaus kicked it away. That, that wasn't really a good pass in the open court. Derrick got it down. Might have pulled up from three-pointer, but really made a tough pass inside. Points off turnovers. Kentucky now has five. Jerome Harmon showing his athletic ability to make it 22 to 17. Harmon's three out of four from the field. Well, you're seeing a potentially a, a pro player in a couple of years. He'll be in the big time. He's got great athleticism, uh, underneath acrobatic moves, and shows you right there what he can do at the basketball. 8.14 to go, first half. Farmer, DeBrasso, Miller. Farmer. Miller. Corner and Miller gets his first points of the day. Kentucky down by two. Inside they take it against Henson and Kimbrough gets his first two. Back by four. 7.44 to go. Miller. Miller. Coming into this game. Louisville had taken 93 three-point shots. Derek Miller had taken 117. Well, Derek, a good shooter, knows where, his ball, where the ball's going to come off. He went right to it, got it right back, and did the smart thing, took a right to the basket, almost got the three-point play because he gets fouled going up with it. Gembro is the man who committed the foul. His first, it's Felton Spencer, back into the game for Louisville. He's playing with two fouls. And Derek Miller, who on the year is 15 of 17. Last year, the big game against Louisville that Kentucky lost. Miller's one out of five for the field. He says he doesn't like these rims, and I guess sometimes when you make a statement like that, you have to go ahead and live up to it by not liking something. Well, also, you kind of think about it, too. Usually, shooters, you want to show confidence, and when you start doubting yourself, you're in trouble, so it doesn't really shock me that Derek's not really shooting very well right now. Louisville throws it away. Eight turnovers for the Cards. A three-pointer is tied. A two-pointer, and Kentucky remains close. The intensity Kentucky's showing is, is really up right now. They're getting after it. People are trapping. Uh, they got it up to another level, and that's what they need to do. They have to play above their abilities today to stay in the basketball game. Feldhaus. Hanson. Miller. He did not set, as you saw. He turned and fired. Derek needs to let the offense come to him, and Richie Farmer's coming in. I wouldn't be surprised if he's coming in for Derek, and he is. Derek needs to let that offense come to him. He's a good shooter, but he's not a good shooter when he has his back to the basket, falling out of bounds. Kentucky is two out of seven with three-point tries. Louisville two out of two. Out of bounds off the hand of Fellhaus. Nobody really moved, as you saw, for that ball. Well, there wasn't. Louisville uh, pressures inbounds passes. They'll front people, and they do that under press. It's tough for Kentucky to read it and get it inbounds. Williams. They get him on the trap. And they break it to the Bradford Smith. Well, Bradford has seven points. 26-21. He just showed us there what you can do when you're strong and you got that good leaping ability. Just got right underneath, went up powerful with it, and jumped over Reggie Hansen for the two points. Sean Woods. Kentucky going very cold again. They've now slipped back to 7 of 27 for 26 percent. And Louisville down hitting 11 out of 18. That is Keith Williams who gets four. And Kentucky's coach Rick Bertino says, let's calm him down. Let's stop it. Kentucky trail. Cornfield was the Louisville captain. The team won eight and three. But Kentucky came back later in the year and beat Louisville down in Louisville. Kentucky was coached by James Park. The captain was K.P. Zerfoss. They won eight and six. The next telecast we'll have will be when Florida comes to town on January 10th. Florida and Kentucky. Check your local listings. 28-21. Louisville leads over Kentucky. The team that we said a few minutes ago, Jim, is certainly a team of streaks. And the streak is going downhill right now for Kentucky. They're trying to force it inside, and they don't need to do that. Pass it around quickly on the perimeter, rotate the basketball, and take better shots. They did take good shots earlier. That'll be nine turnovers for Louisville. Feldhaus. That's seven for Garon Feldhaus. 
Milwaukee back within four. Louisville beating the press again and turning it over. Woods coming. Kentucky on the break. Out of bounds. Sean Woods waiting too late. But it really was a good move. At least he was looking to penetrate and kick it off. We don't need Sean to, Kentucky doesn't need Sean to shoot it inside. He needs to drive to the bucket, penetrate, and then kick it outside. He tried to that time. He got caught underneath. Sullivan back into the ball game for the University of Louisville. Under six minutes to go, first half. Holden. Louisville starting to hit really well now as Harmon gets his eighth point. They're now 12 out of 19. Elton Spencer does a good, good job of kicking the ball back outside when it's thrown into him. Louisville's led by as many as 11. They have trailed by two. Sean Woods, Brasso, he'll pump it up. Kentucky having trouble holding on to the ball. They've just committed their ninth turnover. Jonathan Davis in the lineup, replacing Reggie Hansen. What Brasso needs to do on that last play, and, and yesterday in practice they work on it, take the shot. Don't drive it inside because you have a seven-footer in there and six, seven guys that can jump like they're seven feet tall. Harmon kicking it back out. Sullivan on the miss. Pushing off back. Nope, goes out of bounds. Out of bounds. Say it touched the back of the rim as it went over. The back of the backboard it should be. Elton Spencer get a good look at him inside. He hasn't got that many rebounds, but he's doing a good job of passing the ball back out. Has good vision out there and finds the open man. But he's just holding into the game for Louisville. Hanson, by the way, has come back in now for Kentucky. This is Ralph Thacker along with Jim Master and Rob Bromley. We're at Rupp Arena where we have 5.06 to go. First half of play. And Louisville leads it by a score of 30 to 24. Let's see if Hanson uh, with, with uh, Spencer on him comes back outside. Brasso. Louisville loves this kind of game. Edward Sullivan. The Bradford Smith. Now on Bellhouse. That'll be two. Now is on Bellhouse. He's second. This is the type of game Louisville loves is getting to the boards, getting to the glass, kicking back outside. Darren did jump in there on him, gets the foul, but Darren being real aggressive in Kentucky needs that. All the players need to get in there, get on the floor, try to create turn. At the line is the Bradford's There's Rick Pacino. The bonus. A Bradford's 402 career assists. He's fourth in the Louisville record book. Had a school record of 184 with dish offs last year. And one of the greatest free throw shooters in the country. He hits right at 90% of his free throws, which is unusual for a guy that has a tremendous leaping ability. He is now 21 out of 23 on the year. Richie Farmer, Kentucky now down by eight again. And a couple of them, too. Then they have been outscored a box since then. Four and a half left, first half. You see Louisville do a lot of switching on their man-to-man -man defense. That's why Kentucky spreads it out. Reggie hits a three. Nine for Reggie. Kentucky's four out of nine. Remember the other night against Carolina, they took 53 of them and set a new NCAA record for those made, 21. Miller, Louisville turning it over for the 11th time. Grasso, Farmer. You saw the ball rotation. Kentucky throws it over the top. Uh, Miller did, then they just rotate it back around. Richie Farmer for the three-pointer. Williams. 3.38 left. 32-30. Wiggle. Basketball. In a zone, you don't want the basketball to go inside. I'm kind of surprised Kentucky's letting them get it inside. You, you want them to shoot outside on a 2-3 zone. Hanson. They bring Spencer out to guard him. Reggie. Good luck. 
by Felden Spencer. You just saw the exact play Kentucky wanted to run. Patino told uh, Richie Farmer, back it out, give it to Hanson, let him go one on one from the outside. Sullivan, he now has, has 10, 10, and Louisville goes back out for six. Kentucky having trouble getting it off. Louisville's blocked four of their shots. And they're going to continue to block shots, but what you have to do as an offensive player is keep taking it at him. You'll get the foul. Farmer against Sullivan. Brasso. Louisville has just pulled down its 15th rebound. Sullivan, the big man. It would take a brave dude to stand in there and take a charge from Golden Spencer. Denny told me last night he may weigh 280. Seven footer, watch it. They love him at Louisville. Hard worker, battler inside. Finally gets his two points underneath with a slam dunk. No, it would not take a brave man. It would take a fool to stand in there and take a charge. That's exactly right. His mother's six foot five, so you know he obviously comes from a big family. Reggie cuts it back to five. Two minutes left in the half. Woods gets it. Here come the Cats again. Feldhouse. Hanson. Fifth block shot by Louisville. Reggie should have taken a three-pointer that time. He was open from there. What a great move by LaBradford Smith. He's an open court player. That's what he does best. Get to the open court. Can go as great moves goes to the bucket strong. Seven point Louisville game. A minute 25 left. He looked like Sunday Silence coming home again, didn't he? A minute 16. 40 to 33. There's not many claiming horses in this game, especially for Louisville. Miller. Woods. Second foul on Jeff Brasso. They'll shoot it. And the Bradford was well, taunting a little bit. Brasso. Jeff reaches in. He's got a tendency to do that. Being a freshman, he makes some bad decisions. He's got a lot of great hustle. He just needs to move his feet and not reach so much. Well, the man from Goose Creek is back in the game. Coming out is Jeff Brasso. Brasso goes up. He'll shoot one of the bonus. Well, Bradford Smith, a man if you're Kentucky, you don't want there. Dalton Spencer on the bench. Louisville. We talked about his great athletic ability. He high jumped 6'11. The national uh, high jump, about 6'11, I believe it was in high school, Ralph. So he has plenty of skills in other sports as well. Skip McGaugh of Madisonville, Kentucky is in the game. A walk off. Darren Feldhouse goes out. Now, the reason they take him out now with 47 seconds left in the half is to protect him from fouling. Kentucky only wants one shot. They're satisfied to go to the dressing room down by seven or possibly only down by four according to what kind of shot they were to take and hit. And you'll see a lot of movement, though. They're moving inside. They will take a layup if they would get a, a real easy one, but they're going to move the basketball and then probably have Farmer or Sean Woods try to penetrate with about 10 seconds left. 20 seconds. You see it ticking off. He's fouled. be 16 fouls so with seven seconds Louisville will go on defense and Kentucky gets it out of bounds well, on the side. I don't know if Everett six. was thinking of the sixth foul but it was a good foul because now they have to take it out of bounds. That's for Sullivan as his second foul. Allie Prescott trying to get a base said, hey guys somebody move the count has started. 
And now Rick Patino did an awful smart thing. He ran up and challenged the official who called a timeout. Just an official timeout, which gave Kentucky an additional five seconds. They were about to blow it. Yeah, the referee underneath the basket put the ball down and said, hey, come on, someone get it, get to it. But uh, luckily they stopped the clock. Watch Louisville. They'll try to deny the basketball in. of run and gun basketball here at Rupp Arena. 20 minutes as hard as you want to go at it. And after 20 minutes, Reggie Hansen's picked up 12 points, but Bradford Smith has picked up 13. And the Kentucky Wildcats trail in the ball game by only seven at 42 to 35. Ball to start the second half of play. And John Pelfrey will be putting it in play. Look at the center comparison. Kentucky's winning it with Reggie beating out Golden Spencer. Yeah, and that doesn't surprise me because Spencer's not really a great offensive player from the outside. Kentucky's making him come out there, making him play a lot of defense. Important Kentucky get the first basket to start the second half. He looks for three. Eldhouse. Nobody will battle you like Darren Eldhouse. And a foul is going to be on Keith Williams. His second foul. Well, oh, that was a great play for Darren Fedos. The intensity he shows here. Watch him go after the basketball. Gets on the ground. Really courageous in there. Kicks it back out and gets the foul. 42 to 35. Bellhouse getting it into Pelfrey. Reggie Hansen. John Woods. We played a half a minute of the second half. Hansen. Bellhouse. Bellhouse gets his ninth point. Kentucky comes with a press. They steal it. Hansen. Bellhouse. In against Felton Spencer. He stepped out of bounds. That's hustle. That's all you can call it. Hustle. And he's getting inside, getting those rebounds. It almost looks like a replay. Hansen misses, but he gets the rebound. He walked. They marked the spot. He had to stay in it. Out of bounds, Kentucky. We played 50 seconds. Have taken five shots in this half. And one foul call. Three rebounds. Four rebounds. Make it. And we haven't moved back across the 10-second line. After a made basket, you can move with the basketball. Kimbrough just forgot. He had to stay planted. He traveled. Just like a traveling call outside on the court. Feldhouse. He has the only bucket of the second half. That's it. Miller blocks. They call it goaltending. Miller gets his six point. Kentucky comes right back with a press. That's what Kentucky calls a slash cut. Good ball movement, rotation, slash cut inside. They hit him for the easy two points. Miller is only two of seven from the field this afternoon. Tony Kimbrough to Spencer. Block and a foul on Pelfrey. That's three on John Pelfrey. I'm not so sure, sure who hurt who on that one, Ralph. We got the foul here. But Big Spencer kind of pushed off that time. And when he pushes you off, we saw John Pelfrey kind of just smash into the backboard. Uh, stand there. This year, he only has a field goal to his credit. Spencer averages ten and a half rebounds of all game, and he has three so far today. You see John Pelfrey. You can see him talking to the referee. He was telling him, "Hey, the, the big fella pushed off on him." He gets his third point, 43-39. Kentucky down by four. Woods against Kimbrough. Louisville has been man to man. All the game. Kentucky has played mostly zone, even though they started man to man. Feldhouse. Miller for three. See the difference when he sets, when he sets, he gets it. Louisville on a run out with LeBratford. They caught Kentucky napping just a little bit. And Reggie Hansen guilty of his second round. Well, I tell you what happens there. When Kentucky takes the three-pointer, it's hard for them to get back on defense. They just go down court here right after the made basket. The Bradford, watch the athleticism here, goes up, 
body control, gets the back basket. Now he'll be at the line shooting the free throw. That's a great new word. You want to try that one again? 42-26. 8-15 left. You know it's exciting. A statistician, Dick Gable, has gone to the popcorn. Here's Miller. Feldhaus. Oh, what great. a beautiful save. Little Hoss goes to the floor. That was a very good play. What hustle. He gets on the floor again. That's about 10 times today. Sean Woods. DeBrasso, who's into the game. He's in there replacing Cofrey. Woods. Sean Woods getting his fourth point. Back to a two-point game, and Woods steal. Second time they turned it over in the inbounds by Miller. Hanson. Woods. Hanson. It's tied up at 46 on. The second tie we have. Felton. Louisville goes back to the front. Williams getting six. You've seen Kentucky don't go to a clinic in ball movement, really rotating the ball well. And Sean Woods, they just put Keith Williams on Woods because Woods can blow by Kimbrough like he did last time. Red Jay, Kentucky's to the lead for the second time. 49-48, Kentucky. Rasso on the foul. We talked about Louisville picking up their intensity on defense. Kentucky has as well. They're making good traps now. They're getting up, getting on people. Here we go. But Brasso, again, he reaches in. If he would just stand his ground and use his feet and have held his arms up, he'd be in better shape. Third team foul, and we played two minutes and 17 seconds of the second half. Kimbrough being talked to by Coach Jenny Crum. Crum to two national championships. 1980 and 1986. He's about to be proud of. The the floor. That would have been offensive goaltending. Out of bounds, Kentucky has it. And there's where Keith Williams, I think, hurts his team. He's an excellent ball player, but he needs to pass the basketball. And Denny Crum really got on him. We saw the tip, and it was on the rim. Offensive goaltending. 16 Louisville turnovers. Hanson. Richie Farmer's got it. It'll be Louisville's ball. Kenny Brandenburg says Louisville gets it on the exchange of possession. Hey, you get the replay. Look at Feldhouse went into the crowd. Now Richie Farmer gets into the action, gets on his hands and knees, gets the basketball, and really not much you can do there, but. That really fires your team up when you see bodies flying everywhere and kids giving 110% effort. Kentucky by one. There's Rick Patino. Boy, he's fired up. I'll tell you that. And it gets contagious at this time of the uh, game. When you get on the court, Darren there, the referee's going to tell him to stay away from the basketball. He's a little bit too close. You have to give him room when you're on the opposing team's side on the bench. You have to give him a little bit of space. You think the referees don't get a lot of help from people behind that bench? Louisville looking to go back on top. 16.05 left. The Bradford Smith, the Felton Spencer. Five points for Felton. Louisville back by one. Latch on that seatbelt. Hanson. Brasso. Sean Woods, number 11. Brasso. Kentucky back by one. Seven assists by Sean Woods. Kentucky gets the steal. Third time in a young half. Brasso, good move. Feldhouse, Kentucky. Feldhouse. Brasso tapping and drawing his fourth foul. Kentucky can't get him to fall, but don't discount the guys' hustles. They're out rebounding a Louisville team by four. And we take a look at it, it really gets contagious out there. Darren Fedhouse really been an instigator in starting this. 
Lotta Hustle takes a three-pointer, was way off, but Brasso goes to the boards again, gets the foul. He did come over the back, but that is good. Kentucky really aggressive on the boards. Kentucky looking to extend its lead and failing to do so for the second time. Louisville almost turning it over. This press is bothering him. I'm surprised it's bothering him this much. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's surprising to me as well. Louisville's got some nice players out there. Keith Williams needs to get him under control. But sometimes pressing teams do not like to be pressed, and Louisville may be this way today. Kentucky zone. Farmer and Miller out front. Feldhaus. Pelfrey and Hanson down low. Eric Sullivan. That's a good play by Eric Sullivan. And Louisville starts to go to their bread and butter. They spread it out, try to get it inside. Again, Kentucky's in a zone. I'm surprised they're letting them get it in that easily. What intensity both teams have gone on in this game. Pelfrey. Wide open underneath, good pass, goes up strong, the foul. Kentucky, great ball movement. The Bradford Smith draws the foul. Louisville calls a timeout. Kentucky by one, 53, 52, 14, 24 to go. We'll be right back. If you want a real thrill, set where I sit, and that's one row in front of that band, because they just give the raspberries to the visiting team, and everybody loves it. This is a really a dream game, and uh, what a way to celebrate the holidays. Hey, I know you don't coach now, do you? Everybody, hey, there's a lot of coaches in here. Everybody loves this, and everybody thinks they know more about it than Patino does, but he's doing a marvelous job here and now going to bring our, our university from the state in here to Christmas tournament. I think it's a marvelous mood, and I want to compliment Coach Patino for doing that, bringing in Eastern, Murray, Western to our Christmas tournament. Happy New Year, Larry. Good Thank to see you. you. Thank well, you very much. Happy New Year to you. Larry said he did a bit of coaching, but he did more officiating from the seat where he is in, located. Kentucky's John Pelfrey at the line. Big story here, I think, Jimmy, is the fact that Kentucky has 16 offensive rebounds. Doing an excellent job going to the glass. They knew they had to do that before the game. There's another one. That was 12 rebounds for Darren Pelhaus. He has five offensive boards. 14, 15 to go. You've really seen a different offense. Kentucky using this all day, spreading it out, watching the slash cuts his inside, trying to get it in and back out. Derek Miller off and shooting again. He's three out of ten. Jerome Harmon against Feldhaus. Spencer, they pay a lot of attention to him. It's there. That's Keith Williams. He has nine points. Williams four out of five from the field. Louisville now by two. And Louisville shows you what a big man can do for you. Even though he doesn't score, he's only has two points or three points tonight. He passes it back out because they collapse on him. Rick Patino said today that he wanted this series to continue forever. Benson. Rebound Williams. Louisville to call the timeout. Denny Clark, who's one of the finest in the business, made the adjustment. Thirteen oh five left. It's a bad selection of passes that time. Williams. Eleven. That for the Wildcats, the turnover department was a twelve. 57 53. Pelfrey, and he's fouled. That would be three on Spencer. Good pass, good look up court. They get it inside. John Pelfrey open, takes it up strong, and, and Spencer's really not very agile inside, comes over. Nice play by John Pelfrey. Just puts it up on the glass, gets the foul, a chance to, to cut this lead to one. Bell and Spencer weighs 95 pounds more than John Pelfrey. John might have more than just a Band-Aid on his thumb, on his left thumb after this ball game. So with him, might have to go in that whirlpool for a while. Back to a one-point game. Louisville is on top. Five points for Pelfrey. 
this press has already forced Louisville into three turnovers on this particular inbounds play in this half. knows that Louisville's a second-half team. Miller locked in a goal tending. Second time and a half that Miller's on a goal for the goal that gave him two. Well, Louisville likes to go upstairs, uh, and Derrick's getting open inside, making good backdoor cuts. They see him well. He goes right up with a watch. He goes back door, went up for the two points, got a block, but it was a uh, goal tending. Woods has just committed a foul. Foul is on Five team fouls on Kentucky. Kentucky. Louisville's ball out of bounds. Louisville's committed four team fouls in this half. One point game, Louisville by one with 12 14 left. What a way to end a decade of basketball in the Commonwealth. Well, they've been treated to a great ball game here today. Kentucky back in a 2 3 zone. Let's see if they try not to let it go inside. Let them take the outside shot. Kentucky gets the rebound. The sophomore from Indianapolis runs it. Miller. the football coach at the University of Kentucky should bring him out for the entire football team and let him watch this play over and over again. Watch John Pelfrey make the play. He goes after the ball because Kentucky's more aggressive. They want this game more right now. They're getting it on the floor. You don't see very many Louisville players on the floor, and that's a true test of how bad kids want. 59-58. Kentucky's only hitting 37%. Louisville's hitting 64% from the field. But Kentucky's still in it, down by one. Louisville has 18 turnovers. Kentucky's defense has been tenacious. Take it 19. Nope, they say Hanson touch it. Really quick hands today for Kentucky. They're getting out there, getting those hands in passing lanes, and, and getting a lot of deflections. This is Holden, Sullivan, Holden, rebound belongs to Feldhaus, that's 15 of them. Well, we saw Sean Woods explode that time to the basket, and that's his forte, taking it strong. And that time, he saw Keith Williams, his counterpart, make a good decision, take it to the bucket for the easy two. 10-25 left. Feldhaus. in the game. Louisville back by three. Holden gets his fourth point. When the game goes on, they will go more and more to alley-oops. They'll try to back pick. That time they just got the easy alley-oop, but Kentucky has to watch for back picks for the alley-oop underneath. Hanson, they fouled him. It'll be on Williams, his third. 
The foul on Williams, his third. 9.35 to go. There's timeout. We'll be right back with Kentucky trailing by three. Well, his dry cleaner is going to have a heck of a job taking the perspiration out of that suit. I'll guarantee you, he has been working it out like you would a, a, a warm-up suit. And when a coach like him gets this close to Louisville, he's really got to feel that he has a shot to win this, and he'll pull out any stops now to try to win this basketball game. He'll, he'll be talking to the coaches, trying to change defenses or whatever they can do. There's Joanne Pacino. Tough way for a wife to suffer through a nice Saturday afternoon. 18, 63, 61. Kentucky down by two. Nine and a half left. Williams against Miller. Turnover is number 20 for Louisville. Kentucky has done a good job of scoring after turnovers. They scored 15 points today. Kentucky's traps are so much more intense this half, and they're also covering up the passing lanes very well. That time, Williams just couldn't find anybody, got frustrated, and just threw it away. Hanson goes out, Davis comes in. They just need to give Reggie a rest for a bit. There might be a couple more kids that need a rest. This is really up and down the court, even though it's 63-61, the intensity's on a high. Foul is gonna be on Louisville. It'll be on the Bradford Smith, his third. It'll be one and a bonus. That one and a bonus is what Bradford draws his third. Jim, at what point in a game like this does the weirdness dissipate and just the drive take over? I think now, because Kentucky's close, they can smell it, they can taste it, Rick Patino can taste it, the fans, and, and the intensity now and in your desire and the adrenaline just starts flowing and taking over. But it's important to rest these kids a little bit just to give them a second win, maybe 30 seconds like we did, like Reggie Hansen's doing now. And usually when you get tired, you start missing free throws that way. Had a chance to tie it. A try for three. Hold it. Cornelius Holden gets six. And that's their bread and butter. They want the ball to be shot and then head towards the glass. Reggie will come back in as soon as he can. It is into Feldhaus, posting low. Davis. Williams against Woods. Big play by Williams. It blows it back out now by six. Kentucky's going to get a timeout. As much as anything, to calm them down and to get a blow, as they say. 8.33 to go. Beginning with the UK Florida game on January 10th, seven selected UK radio broadcasts may be heard by dialing 1 900 903 3700. 75 cents for the first minute, 45 cents every minute thereafter. It begins with the UK Florida game on January 10th. Let your folks out of state know that. 1 900 903 3700. Let K Wood call it. Well, that Cardinal being squashed, but that's not what's happening on the scoreboard. They're being scared, but not pinned. 67-61. Ralph Hacker along with Rob Bromley, Jim Master from Rupp Arena. Well, in the second half, Keith Williams now is 5 for 5, the point guard for Louisville. And he's done that by making good decisions. He's gotten a lot of layups, a lot of run-out baskets. He rescued the child, and we're back to action. It'll be Kentucky's basketball out of bounds. In this half, Kentucky is hitting 41%, Louisville 61. For the game, Louisville 63, Kentucky 36. And Kentucky has been out-rebounded in that half by Louisville 14-10. But a big story is Darren Feldhaus rebounds, and he has 15 of those. And that last time out, also uh, Kentucky needed to settle down, but they got Hanson back in there. Feldhaus missing Kentucky grown very, very cold over the last three minutes. Louisville has all year been a team of spurts. We saw it against North Carolina. They have done it against Missouri, and they only lost if they had. But they've done it against almost everybody they have played. And when Louisville gets it down court now, they're just looking for the open shot, pulling it back out. Woods with it. Kentucky's got the numbers. The Hanson foul is on Louisville. Well, if you're Kentucky, you'd like to have had the bucket, but you won't give up the fact that you can now score down by six with a clock off. 
That's exactly right. Sean Woods coming down court. He looks up, makes a good decision here, finds Reggie Hansen filling the lane. He goes up strong. Keith Williams reaches in for the foul, but Reggie Hansen normally a good free throw shooter. And this also is important. As William goes out with four fouls, you get him out of the basketball game for a while. Plus, you get a chance to set up this, this press that Kentucky's been so tenacious on in the second half. Kentucky has not done a great job from the free throw line. There's seven of 11. Hansen, three out of four. They've missed the last four free throws. R Reggie's rotation doesn't look that good. That last one was almost uh, spinning the wrong direction. You want it to spin uh, real smoothly. That one did better. Like that one. 19 for Reggie Hansen. Under eight minutes left in the game. Seven now for Louisville. Kentucky needs a three-pointer. That's just athleticism taking over because Feldhaus had good position. He just went over the top of Jerome Harmon for easy two. Kentucky is eight of 23 in three-pointers this afternoon. Woods, he walked. I think that weirdness has taken over at this point anyway for Kentucky as they've committed their 18th, make it their 14th turnover. They got 18 assists. They might get a timeout here again just to get their breath, but that time Sean Woods made a good quick move and Brasso's going to come into the basketball game. Peltry's out. Brasso picks up the intensity too, and maybe that's what Patino wants. Someone out there diving on the floor, getting in someone's face. He just split the press. Sullivan will go to the line to shoot two. Kentucky just not getting in the passing lanes right now. But Bradford beats it down court, splits the trap, goes up and just looks for someone underneath. Of course, Everett Sullivan, tremendous jumper, gets inside. Didn't get the three-point play, but he gets inside for two free throws. Reggie Hansen's third foul. Thirteen for Everett Sullivan. There's Jerry Jones on the left. Louisville by eight. 7.03 left. Feldhaus. He charged. Breaks going against Kentucky. Down. Let's take a look at it. Darren gets a good ball fake, goes inside, forced his way in there a little bit, but the defensive player was still moving. I think that was a bad call. 70 to 62. Louisville led by 12 in the first half. Good move by Derek Miller. Tried to do too much. Louisville will get it back. And now Richie's going to come to the game to play Sean Woods to give him a blow. That allows Kentucky to have a better three-point shooter out there. Farmer was two for two from three-point range in the first half, so I'm sure he's in there to, to get a shot up from the outside. Louisville making a change as Troy Smith, who's been in the game, goes out. Farmer on the steal. Four times Kentucky's taken the ball away from Louisville of the inbounds pass in this half. Well, we see why Farmer was inserted in there to steal the basketball. Farmer for three. Hansen on the rebound against Dalton Spencer. Spencer can do nothing more than watch him because he has four fouls. So six-point game. Louisville. Look, Bradford Smith. They beat the press and then blow it. It will be over the backboard. He flipped the, as you well saw, the rim, which is a collapse of the rim after the ball was going down in there. Bradford makes a nice play here, gets it over to Jerome Harmon, the tremendous leaper, but just got it caught in the rim and couldn't get it down. That's Ralph Willard. 70-64. Farmer. This is Hanson. Over to Farmer. Belfry for three. 
Spencer coming up with a sixth rebound. Make it his fourth rebound. Louisville now trying to control the pace of this game a bit. Yeah, they're, they're up six points. They've been doing this last couple times down. They're going to look to go inside, maybe outside, but they want uh, an inside jump shot. Three. Richie Farmer with the rebound. Louisville's three out of nine for three points. Richie. Back to a four-point Kentucky game. They're down by four. Only one man back to defend. <laughs> Jerome Harmon has 14. Well, he wasn't going to be denied that time. He missed the dunk the last time, a couple times down the court, but just went in strong that time, jumped over the defensive player and got the easy two. Six-point game, Louisville. Hanson. that foul on the University of Kentucky. Kentucky wants to call a timeout. 76, 72, 66, and 66. We've got 427 to go. Brasso has four. Pelfrey, Hanson, and Feldhouse each have three for the University of Kentucky. Spencer and Williams are coming in endangered species of the Cardinals. They have four each, and LeBradford Smith has three. So far this year, there has never been a Cardinal foul out of a basketball game. The University of Kentucky has had five times that people fell out. Three of those have been Reggie Hansen. The timeout sees Kentucky having two remaining. There's one of the recruits the University of Kentucky has in, the only recruit they have in today. He's 6'7 from Fort Union Military Academy. And they said, we won't give you his name. Yeah. And that's where uh, uh, Kentucky fans might remember Melvin Turpin went to Fort Union and came to Kentucky. Now he couldn't be that bored. Kent Jones, they say, is his name. Brother of Charlie Jones. Charlie Jones used to play at the University of Louisville back in the days when I played, Ralph, and was a tremendous player for him. Now playing pro ball with the Phoenix Suns. Cornelius Holden. That has a way of quieting the crowd down a bit as they go 73-66. Eight for Cornelius, 74-66. I think you'll see Kentucky move the basketball like they've been doing. No need to panic yet. Four and a half minutes to go. They'll look around. They, they might try to get a three-pointer if they get someone's spot. Kentucky turning it over yet another time. Louisville applying a little bit more defensive pressure now. Well, they're getting in the passing lanes as well. Reggie's throwing a couple bad ones, but Louisville's really anticipating the passes. Louisville just killing the clock. Four minutes to go, leading at 74-66. How ironic is this, though? Kentucky used to be the team that everybody thought would hold the basketball. The Cardinals, the run-and-gun, loose team, usually ran the basketball. So we're really seeing some history here. There's Jenny Crump. Just got out of the sick bed. He has pneumonia. Just getting over it. Smith, five above his average. Louisville goes back by 10. Biggest lead in this half for them. Elfrey. He draws the foul. It'll be on for Cornelius Holder. He'll try two. I saw Coach Patino tell him to spread it out. They're trying to get the three-pointer. But John Pelker uses a really nice ball fake. Goes inside. Got a block, but he used his body well to get some contact, and he'll be at the line. I told you earlier that it'll be tough for Kentucky to shoot three pointers when they get down because Louisville's quickness gets up on it. Belfry will be trying to get two off that lead. He has five so far. Of the year, he has hit 30 out of 40 from the free line coming into the game. He's one out of two tonight. That's Paul Hyman going out of the ball game for Louisville. Ali Prescott, the official. It's the Parks system in Memphis, Tennessee. Six points. 
Pacino has seen his ball club now go nine out of 14 from the free throw line tonight. If John hits this one, watch Kentucky really put some strong defensive pressure on, trying to make Lobo throw it over the top. They'll have everybody up, up, up front. year Denny Crum well we'll talk about that after the replay well they get the good trap they, and then Louisville reads it gets it up court but Darren just didn't quite get position here reaches in for the foul the worst year Denny Crum ever had in Louisville was 86 87 year after he had won the national Kentucky championship when he goes 18 14 there's a man who's averaged well over 20 games winning every year since he's been there Richie Farmer's up but Bradford Smith has 19 points. And, and Richie back in there again to, to put the three-pointer up. Kentucky usually takes 46% of their shots are three-pointers. Tonight, 35% have been three-pointers, again, because of the quickness of Louisville. And Louisville going back on top by 10 at 78-68. 3.05 left. Hanson for three. 24 points for Reggie Henson. Now watch the defensive pressure. Kentucky will try to come with traps. Here comes Darren. They're going to try to come with traps on a run and jump. There's timeout called by Louisville. 32 seconds on the shot clock. Duke's taken 71 shots. Louisville's taken 49. Kentucky's 26. Made Louisville 30. Kentucky's going to the game with 2.22 to go if they can get out of here without Louisville scoring. They might have to go to some type of run and jump here. They're trying to play straight man to man. And Louisville's probably going to just try to get a good shot and be patient. The shot clock went off, but they didn't hear it. Oh, it's it is. Latino saying the shot clock cut off. This is Pelfrey. Started to go for three. Goes for two. Pelfrey gets his ninth. It's 83 70. Smart move by John Pelfrey. Used it to get him up in the air and then went to the basket with a good ball fake. Again, beating the press. Louisville's with Bradford Smith with a minute 38. Foul is on John Pelfrey. That's four. Jim would like to say hello to Carl Bryan, who's in the Humana Hospital Audubon. He is awaiting to have an artificial heart transplant. He's a big U of L fan. He's going to be watching this replay tonight. And the technician who is sitting there watching him and keeping him going at this point is a big UK fan by the name of Bill Owen. So, gentlemen, best wishes to both of you. Glad to have you along. Certainly wish the best to him. But Bradford Smith is 21. And this is not the guy you want to foul. A Bradford, about a 90% free throw shooter, one of the best in the country. You want to foul someone else. 82-73. 135 left. Richie. Tucky is now 9 of 27 from three-point land. Got a good shot off that time, just couldn't get it to drop. Again, you've got to give credit where credit's due. And the fact that these Wildcats have certainly played their heart out. And the fans have stayed right in here with them. Who would have thought that Kentucky would only be down nine or that they'd be ahead in the second half? Uh, they showed a lot of courage out here today. I'm a big believer, Coach Patino's system. People didn't think he could play this type of game and stay with Bobo he has. Miller. That's only two for Miller. 13 for Derek Miller. Under a minute left. Foul's going to be on Richie Farmer. That'll be his second foul. Foul is on Farmer, his second. Take a look at it, Kentucky, all over the court. Trying to get into passing lanes. Here comes Farmer, just a little late in getting there. Makes the foul. We have to stop the clock now. 51 seconds. Kentucky only down by seven points. Still has a shot. After the way that this outman group of Kentuckians has played today, if you thought a ticket was hard to get come by to get into Rupp Arena, wait till next year when it moves down to Freedom Hall. 
There's a guy that's really played his heart out today. All the Kentucky kids have, but Darren Feldhouse has been all over the court, very active. 16 for Harmon. 84-75, 48 seconds to go. Eric Sullivan, but here comes Richie again. Belfry. Nine out, Kentucky. Belfry gets his 11th point. That makes it 84-77. Well, a few years ago, we saw one of the great comebacks here in this gymnasium when Kentucky took on Kansas, the number one ranked team in the nation that night, and came from behind in less time than this to win. Well, Richie Farmer gets a nice steal. Went up for the three-pointer, looked underneath, spotted John Pelfrey, a nice reverse layup. Rick Patino show tomorrow night over many of these same UK network stations. Check your local listings. Rob Bromley, along with Coach Patino, will have highlights of the North Carolina game and, of course, this ball game. A look ahead at Georgia on Wednesday night. Coach Patino is right in the middle of them. The benches players are standing around the five are in there now. And the Kentucky bench has certainly played well today, getting 14 points. Louisville, however, having a, a deeper bench, more experienced players, outscoring Kentucky 24-14 in that stat. Kentucky's not normally going to get a lot of bench scoring. Richie Farmer comes off there and provides some, but Louisville's just got a lot more horses to put in there. Actually, the 14 points for Kentucky's bench have come from Brasso and Farmer. There's a man who certainly put in about 40 hours today inside of an hour and 50 minutes of a game. And he puts in about 40 miles as well. He walks that sideline constantly. Kentucky now falling behind and rebound by one. 32 seconds to go. Louisville's ball. They lead it by seven. The Bradford Smith. Kentucky getting it back. Miller with 20 seconds to go. He'll be looking for the hoop. They can't wait long. Feldhaus. The projectile was wrong. Out of bounds, Kentucky with eight seconds to go. What an effort this outman group Kentuckians have put up. All of them have to be proud. The fans here across the state, they've came out, competed for 40 minutes, right in it to the end. Hanson and Louisville bent, but they never broke. Foul's going to be on Kentucky. It's on Feldhaus. They'll go to the line with Everett Sullivan and only four seconds to go. Standing ovation for these cats here in Rupp Arena. Well deserved. Look at the people all around the gymnasium as you see it. Third line of Kentucky, number 32, Richie Clark. Sullivan is at the line for you and Mel. Darren Feldhaus fouls out with nine points, 16 rebounds. I'll tell you, Ralph, Kentucky will not play a more talented team than Louisville this year. They've played some good ones already, but they will not play a team more talented, so they have nothing to be ashamed of. Looks like better things in the future for them. That will be 16 points for Sullivan. Four seconds to go. Farmer with it. Farmer around Spencer. He got it. It'll count. Richie Farmer gets 10, and in a loss, 23,000 people are on their feet and applauding the Kentucky Wildcats here in Rupp. Unbelievable. The effort they gave this afternoon against the number eight ranked University of Louisville Cardinals. The Wildcats came out as Rick Pitino dejected, followed by Bill Kitely goes back to the dressing room. Jim Master, you can call it a loss. Three losses in a row for the University of Kentucky. Eight wins in a row for the University of Louisville. But call it gutsy. And call it gutsy play and a great effort for the Wildcats. Yes, and this is even more impressive to me than Kentucky playing Indiana to one point. I think coming within seven points and being ahead in the second half to really a fabulous Louisville team. I think this is a team Louisville has could go to the Final Four. Kentucky should hold their heads high. It's tough, though, when you lose, but believe me, people, Kentucky will be back. They'll keep playing well. If they play like this all the time, they're going to win some ballgames.